Oh, we're getting really close now. We can put the back glass in there. I think I got not too much to do. We're gonna tighten the flippers, put some flipper rubbers on there. I'm waiting on those to show up. Hopefully I see that today. And, um, you know, just not too much, but I wanna go ahead and put the back glass in it. I don't think I need to fish around back there too much more than when it's time to break it down. And this is a nice new back glass. I got, I wish I could remember the details of this glass, but I can't. The only thing I can tell you is this is a new glass. And it's really nicely done. So new glass. See what it takes to get it. Trimming it slowly, because you yeah, know, I don't want it to run too short, but you don't want it to be tucked into anything that's gonna keep it from in there. This is what it takes to get one of these off. It's not always a fun process. there I'm gonna take this up there this channel is kind of um, what's well, rusty you know on both sides but I'm gonna take this up there I'm gonna bead blast the interior of it at least and kind of I gotta take a, maybe a screwdriver and just kind of tweak a couple spots I can see it bent up and I'm just gonna see what I can do with it, you know, and I'll probably do the same thing with the lot bar while I'm at it and, you know, bead blast the inside. So we'll go up there and do that. one bar well, I blast them both inside because uh, you know you gotta get all this rust and stuff off the back of it but I blasted the outside of one bar and not the outside of the other one see which one which method works best I mean it's none of that's gonna take something like this like this gouge off but it does kind of get it back to like maybe an even type setting and actually this blasted bar looks might look good with that trim because the trim's always kind of mismatched you know the rails and the textured rails compared to the the smooth grain block bar so we'll see we'll see what happens that's a good thing about that's why i always try to enter into any of these projects with two of everything i like to have choices now this right here i got this blasted pretty good i could use it as is uh, maybe try to throw some polish on it but i think what i'm going to do with this is I'm a black metal at you because it's so pitted and that's that's gonna show more than anything else. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Um, yeah, you can see how pitted it is. Also, this edge is a little bit long and it's kind of chopped up. I think I might grind that down a little bit smoother. So I'll probably work this over in black metal etch it and that'll be adequate for the glass channel. Because I don't think this thing's ever gonna come back to looking like what it needs to. All right, let's see what it takes to green one of these lot bars. I generally like to set it up in the vise. Before I do that, I'm gonna blow this off, wipe it down, and uh, shoot some metal etch on a grind this edge. Glasses for this.
right back on. Let's work some metal etch on this real quick and then we'll deal with the lot bar. The glassy one in the vise, and we'll just see what it takes uh, to grain it. Start off with some 80 grit. Let's see if I got a block that I like in here for this. I used to do this with a belt sander and that works pretty good but it always tends to to leave like these more dug out marks in it than I'd like. Pretty good to start. Now I'm going to take the Scotch Bright. A little bit bigger piece of sandpaper. I'm going to take the Scotch Bright and wrap that same 80 grit around that and hit it. And what that's going to do is just kind of bit thin around some things more. It's a little bit more flexible. Maybe that looks pretty good. All right, let's water sand this thing. We're gonna start with 150 on a block. Pretty good. We'll switch over to 800. All right, other than one really small Nick, and I mean it is small. I don't know how well we can see this, but I'll try. That's really good. The spot welds are gonna be what they're gonna be. I can't do anything about them. But it looks good. I could take um, the Scotch Bright and like the stuff and clean and really get down in there. And I'm, I probably should do that. I think that's what I'm going to do just to get those out of there. And uh, what, what you see there isn't 
What you see there isn't uh, so much the spot welds, but just that nothing has gotten down in them good enough to, to shine them like the rest. So this will probably be a little bit of a step backwards. I'll probably have to step it back up again. But let's go ahead and do that because it's just going to make it better. This will get it down in there. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, we will take a look at it. Not bad, not bad at all. So we'll throw that on there, see what it looks like. There's our lot bar in place. That looks really nice. That turned out great. I didn't even bother doing the other one after I got this one done. I was like, okay, that's fine. Good enough. Gonna have the divots, but uh, if not for that, good. And the divots are just, when you see the lot bars that don't have the divots, that usually means they're glued on the back and they, they pop off all the time. I was having a hell of a time. I was buying all these chrome plated and brass plated ones because that's what people were asking for in their games. And half the time before I could even get it out the door, the back was coming off of it, so. You know, they, they were doing that so they wouldn't have those divots in the, you know, when they they played it, they become real obvious, those divots where they spot weld the, the bracket on the back of the lot bar. But even they got away from it like, well, we just have to live with the divots because we can't have all these lot bars falling apart all the time. So it's welded for a reason. You're asking a lot of that thing. All right, we're looking good. We got flipper rubber waiting on that to show up today. And um, we'll finish putting that back glass together and put it in place and set the flippers. I'm just I'm not setting the flippers quite yet because I really have the rubber on there just to see how they, I mean, this a game like this, I can promise you, you're gonna have flipper hop all over the place. I mean, that's just what they do. They got wire guides leading to the flippers. They got this, they got this gate that it's gonna be riding on before it gets to the wire guide and it's gonna be, kind of bouncy I mean it's nothing you can't redesign the thing but try to get it to a minimum all right it's in there Doesn't fit way too tight, so that's good. And we will put it in place. Let me make sure it's unlatched and ready. in place. That looks good. That looks really good. Oh yeah, that looks nice. The reflection, the glare is not helping things right now, but it looks really good. flat grills it just frames it and then everything in the middle is is kind of like mirrored or chrome because they got the the mirroring on the back glass itself so that looks real nice yeah really happy with that so as a total package it's 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 all there a few details a few things to shore up and uh, we'll be good <laughs> 